church do teach that God is a just God, right? Or the Bible, God is a He's just. He's just. Give me the book of Galatians, chapter. Um, give me the book of Colossians, three and verse two, three twenty-five. Go ahead and read that. Book of First Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. Bring it out. And ye became followers of us. Second Thessalonians, one verse six. Right. What I call it here? Colossians three twenty-five. Con. Second Thessalonians, chapter one. And verse 6. Let's see if our Lord about revenge. Go to read. Seeing it is righteous thing with God to it, recompense tribulation. It is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation. To them that trouble you. To them that troubled us. Go ahead. And to you who are troubled, rest with you. We the ones that's in trouble, so we rest with the Lord. Go ahead. Then, O Salakia, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance taking on what taking, taking vengeance, vengeance taking what taking, taking vengeance, vengeance on them that know not god because the heathen don't know our god right. that's why they set up all these idols was that that's why they made them up so we wouldn't know our god it was all to take us away from our god because our god is the true living god they statues that can't do nothing Simpson, hey, give me the book a real quick second, that's just 336. He said, right now, let's see what he's going to say about the heathen. Because you got heathen that say, no, God love all people. Uh -uh. Let's see what God say then. So go ahead and read. This is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 3, and verse 36. Bring it up. Thou shalt find that Israel, by name, have kept my precepts, but not the heathen. But who? But, but not, not the heathen. But who? But, but not, not the heathen. heathen. Since we've been out here, we've been reading precepts. We actually taught you what a precept was. But the heathen don't read the Bible this way, King. Right. Because God not dealing with them. In the book of Psalms, 79, 79 verse 6. Right? He said, pour out his... No, what did he say? Dang. I, I, I lost that on precept. But go ahead and read that. Book of Psalms, chapter 79, verse 6. Bring it up. Pour out thy wrath. Upon the heathen. What did God say? Pour, pour out, out thy wrath upon, upon the heathen. So God said he's going to pour out his wrath upon the heathen. That have not known thee. What? That, that have, have not, not known, known thee. Why? Because the heathen don't know our God because our God is not dealing with them, brother. Right. He's going to pour out his wrath upon the heathen that have not known him. And the wrath is, huh. is, is uh, vengeance. It's vengeance, but it's Jesus coming off the throne. Right? That's, that's. Yeah, because he's going to be here ruling amongst us. The kingdom of heaven is here on earth. Right? So the, the heavens where Christ and the angels are, that's the Father's zone. This was made for Christ. Christ made this. Right? This is all, and Christ is all about war. That's right. Give me that in the book of Exodus 15, verse 3, real quick. Jeez, uh, Let's find out how our war no. is and why we got animals killing other animals, insects killing other insects, why we got people killing other people. Let's find out. Go ahead and read. Book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. Bring it out. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. Did you know that? Read that one more time from the top, Hebrew. The Lord is a man, man of war. war. The Lord is a man of war, but the heathen has taught in us that God loves everybody. Right. God is all love. Right. So if God was all love, why would he make this creation that go up against each other? Right. Why would he got enemies? If God was all love, wouldn't he make everything peaceful? Uh, huh. That's how they keep us in slavery. That's how they keep us in mentally slavery, brother. Right? Hey, what you hold? Go ahead and read that. 15-3. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 25. Bring it up! Now we're going back to that um, God being just and vengeful. Go ahead and read that. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he has done. Those that do wrong shall receive for the wrong which they have done. Oh. Right. Go ahead and read. And there is no respect of person. There is no respect of person. Right? Give me Galatians 6 and 7. Read that one more time for me, y'all. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he has done. Period. And there is no respect of persons. Give me the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. Go ahead and read what you got. Book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Don't fool yourself. Go ahead. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. Whatsoever a man soweth. Uh, 
That shall he also reap. That shall he also reap. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? So whatever they, all the, the, the trusses they dished out, they're going to get it to right. right. That's right. So go ahead and read. Revelation the 13 of verse 9. Bring it up. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead into captivity. He that lead a nation of people into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. He that kill with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Is that not just? Let's see what he said about the saints. That's even right. Go ahead and read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Here is the patience and the faith of us. Be the saints. We waiting for our revenge. We wait for our get back. Now these heathen then destroyed a lot of our people to the point where they don't want no get back. The Lord ain't dealing with them. We just told you that the Lord is a man of war. We think the Lord is raising up his exceedingly great army. You think the Lord's gonna be raising up people that's in the LGBT in his army? Wow. You think the Lord is going to be raising up men that don't want to fight other men but just always love, 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 yeah. have them in his army? No, the Lord going to have soldiers in his army. Go ahead. Go ahead and read. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14 from the top. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So when the Lord comes back, he's going to set us in our own land. We're going to have our land back. The Lord is going to set us back in our land, brother. Go ahead and read. And this one. What's that? That's, that's us, Israel. He said, Israel, bring it again to the top. He missed it. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, from the top. And the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is the southern kingdom. Go ahead. And will yet choose Israel. Israel is the northern kingdom. It was a split, right? But go ahead and read. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers is the other nations, the heathen, the nation outside of Israel, all the nations who had us in captivity. Go ahead and read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now these other nations, they're going to cleave to us when our Lord will come back when we get our new bodies, because they ain't going to be able to hurt us anyway. Right. You take your baby, you can throw your baby, you can fall down, roll down, it won't hurt. But they going to hurt. See what I'm saying? We ain't going to be able to feel pain ever again. But they will. Right. That's why I say, they're going to be dying. We won't be able to die. Did you know that? The heathen gonna be able to die. But the children of Israel that make it will not be able to die. Did you know that? Oh, all praises. All praises. All right, go ahead and read that thing from the top for me, y'all. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Now, we're going to take these other nations and bring up them to our place since we're going to have the land. Go ahead and read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. These other nations going to be our possessions the same way we are possessions up unto them till this day. But go ahead and read. In the land of the Lord for servants. They're going to be what? Servants. servants. And, handmaids. and handmaids. And what? And, and handmaids. handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. We're going to take them captives because we was captives up under them. Right. Go ahead and read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We shall do what? Rule, rule over, over their oppressors. oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. That's right. Gosh. Did you go? Right? Hey, give me the book of 2nd Edges 6 and 9. Is that king? That's a polarity shit. Right, and this is what we're looking for. Uh -huh. We're tired of struggling, bro. We're tired uh -huh. of getting the lowest of the lowest jobs. We're tired of living in the ghetto, trying to find our way out. We're tired of everything being hung on our necks, uh -huh. the police on our necks, uh -huh. constantly getting tired. shot. Tired. We're tired, tired of the injustice, but the Lord is going to give it to us. Why? Because we're about to get all the punishment. All right, you got it. Book of Second Andrews, chapter 6, and verse 9. Bring it up. For Esau is the end of the world. What did God say? For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Uh, That's right. Can you say it again? So Esau, Esau is done. That's right. Esau is done. It's a rock for He couldn't stand the heat. He couldn't stand the heat. Pick up the time for me, y'all. Book of 2nd Edges, chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, the reason why the Lord is pinpointing two nations, Esau and Jacob, is because, do you know where Jacob and Esau come from? Rebecca. 
That's right, King. Uh -huh. King got a lot of knowledge over there. Hey, give him on camera, King. I think that's a mighty king with a lot of knowledge. So I praise the Yahweh. Uh -huh. I'll oh, praise So we want to teach you a short bit where Esau and Jacob come from. Like the mighty king said, Rebecca. So let's read about it. So go ahead and read. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 23. Bring it up. And then Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. What did he say? Two, two nations, nations are, are in thy womb. womb. Two nations, meaning two manner of people. Now, Rebecca is having twins, brother. Right? Twins. She got twins in her room. This is when the Caucasians, this is when Esau first came up on the scene. Right? Go to read. And two manner of people. Two what? And two, two manner of people. And two, di two different, completely types of people. Go ahead. Shall be separated from thy vows. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. One people, one baby children is going to be stronger than the other baby's children. Right? As, as, as the so-called so -called blacks stronger than the so-called whites by long shot. There ain't no comparison. Right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we took over MMA. We took over NBA. boxing. NBA. In any sports, we take over. That, that's easy for us. Because it's harder for them. They still playing catch up, but they ain't going to catch up. But go ahead and read. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger, right? That's in the kingdom, right? When we get our kingdom, they're going to serve us. That's why you still got that script? Read it again. That's Book why you Second it. Edris, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Now our kingdom is coming. Right. That's why the elder shall serve the younger. Esau right. came out first. Jacob came out second. But we're going to read. That's what we're going to read. And when her days be delivered, with her days to be delivered, was the field, behold, there were twins in her womb. There was what? There, there were, were twins, twins in her womb. Go ahead and read. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. Right. What is his name? And they call his name Esau. They call his name what? And they call his name Esau. Okay, go ahead and read. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. His name was called what? And his name, name was, was called Jacob. Jacob. So Esau came out first, and then Jacob came out. This is letting us know that Esau was going to rule the world, and then after they rule the ship is up, our time to rule. That's right. You see that? Our time to rule. Right. Young king. You like that, huh? That's the precept sealing everything up in order and giving us the understanding that we needed a long time ago. That's right. See that? But you know they gotta keep us in slavery. Say that again? They gotta keep us in that mental slavery. Yeah, but guess what? We coming out of it. That's right. Huh. We coming out of that mental slavery. That's right. You got brothers like us all over the world doing this. That's right. 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 But you know, like the like Bible was saying in the last days, there's a lot of false people, a lot of false prophets come up. It is. And, and who are those false teachers and false prophets? The pastors and the, the There you go. The pastors and the bishops. And all the that. pastors and the bishops. And where they dwell in these Christian churches. Yeah. Talking about God love everybody. Come as you are. It's okay to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Uh -huh. It's okay for the woman to wear tight things uh -huh. up in there. Uh -huh. It's okay for the pastor to be smashing them. Just forgive the pastor uh -huh. because he's a man too. Uh, the Lord is against That's adultery. Awesome. But up in the church, it's known for adultery committed up in there. Right. See what I'm saying? And what do the people do? The people always seem to forgive the pastor. The pastor's pastor supposed to step down when he do an evil sin like that? Yeah, like the Roman Catholics. Right, but they don't step down. They continue to yeah. teach, and the people continue to give them their last of their little bit of dollars right. that they work so hard for. While the pastor's on vacation. If the pastor's wanted to go to the Bahamas, all the pastor would do is just stand up and say, we need a little bit more. Sow a seed. Yeah, the pastor allowed to sow a seed, meaning give more, right? Give more so I can, I'm getting my vacation. Well, y'all getting my vacation together. You know what I'm saying? You already know about Cliff Low Dollar and all the other ones that didn't bought jets. That, that's never enough for them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, give me that in the book of Ezekiel 22, verse 26. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 56 and verse 10, Hebrew, right? Let's see what the Lord says about these pastors, then. Go ahead and read. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 26. Bring it up. Her priests have violated my law. These pastors, deacons, reverends, evangelists, and so on, what did God say about them? Her priests have violated my law. They violate God's law because they say the law is done away with. But go ahead and read. And have profaned my holy things. 
he, they profane God's holy things. Like the Sabbath day, they turned it from Saturday to Sunday. That's profaning it. Go ahead and read. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. They have not put no difference between the righteousness and the wickedness. Go ahead and read. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. They put no difference, brother. Go ahead and read. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. They hid their eyes from God's true Sabbath day with a Saturday. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is true Sabbath of the Lord. Let's see what else God said about these pastors. So go ahead and read. But Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. Bring it out. His watchmen are blind. What did God say? His watchmen are blind. Back to the priests, the evangelists, the bishops, the deacons, and the evangelists. What did God say? His watchmen are blind. The watchmen are blind. These pastors are blind. Go ahead. They are all ignorant. They all of them ignorant because they don't know the scriptures. They don't read precept upon precept in church. I went to church my whole life and never heard it. Actually, I was a monster in church, as most of us is. The women, they go to church. They, they go to they go to club Saturday night and be up in church. We do wickedness, smoke weed and all that, and go to church. There's no difference between the clean and unclean up in there, brother. Read again from the top of me, y'all. Waters are muddy. Say it again? It's muddy waters. That's it. Jeremiah 23. I said, chapter 56 and verse 10, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. The guy said the pastor, they are they all are dumb, dumb dogs. dogs. They are all dumb, dumb dogs. dogs. Why? Because a dog is supposed to warn you of danger, correct? But they're not warning nobody up in there. See, we tell our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven as I hand. If That's you don't right. repent, you're going to be destroyed. That's right. You're going to face God's judgment. Oh. You're going to face God's wrath. So we tell our people to repent for danger is lingering. That's, That's right. That's Isaiah 56 and 10. Right? We tell our people that World War III is documented in the Bible. Right. We know what nations are going to go up against what nations. We can tell you all that, King. Why? Because we got the understanding of the scriptures. Right. How do we get the understanding of the scriptures? Because the Lord put his spirit into us and set us upon our feet. You read that about that in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 2. But go ahead and read. They cannot bark. They dog, they dumb dogs that cannot bark because they don't warn the people. God say to watch and pray. They're not watching. They, they're not watching. They'll pray, but they're not watching and warning the people. But go ahead and read. Sleeping, lying down. Loving to slumber. That's what these passages is. Sleeping, lying down, and loving to slumber. Go ahead. Yeah, they are all, they are greedy dogs. They are what? They are greedy dogs. They are what? They are greedy dogs. And you know that them pastors, they love that collection plate. And they pass that thing around three times up in the church. One for Sunday school, one for lunch, and once before the pastor come out and teach. And sometimes they even pass that collection plate right before they pray to get dismissed. You know what I'm saying? At the end of church, church over, here, sit them in here one more time. One more time. I'm trying to go on my vacation. Uh, we ain't got no money, no bucket out here for no money. Uh, I'm not asking nobody for no money. Uh, Why? Because the gospel is free. Hey, you know where I'm gonna get we gonna get our payment at? In heaven. Hey, we sat and we storing up our riches, man. Right? Hey, real quick, give me the book of Jeremiah 23 and 1. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 6 and 20. Let's let's read about that thing. Right? Why we ain't got no collection plate to benefit us in this life? Let's find out where we collecting our plate at. Go ahead and read. Book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 20. Bring it up. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. What did God say? But lay, lay up, up for yourselves treasures, treasures, treasures in, in heaven. heaven. We got to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven. How do we get our treasures in heaven? We building them up now by doing the Father's will. See what I'm saying, young king? It's like now, there you go. Ready. We build it up. The more work we do, the more higher archers we going to be in the kingdom. That's right. Right? Go ahead and read that one time from the top of me, y'all. Look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust don't corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. See, the thing is, the difference between this world, when people get money, they get robbed. They get plotted on. You know what I'm saying? Our riches in heaven, ain't nobody going to be able to rob us. Uh. We're going to know who, who, who touched our building or our mansion. So not alone the people who did it, we think we're going to somebody going to do it, and then we're going to come home and say, oh, man, who took my all gold 100% manure? And they're going to be, oh, uh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. We're going to know who did it. They won't be able to lie to us. So these are the things that, that we got come. So this is where our riches are in heaven, and we're building them up. 
Every week we come out here. Every time we be true to the Lord, we fast, pray, study throughout the week. We stay consistent in righteousness by following the Lord's steps. We building up our, our uh, riches. Now, if we decide to go back into the world, go smoke weed, go back clubbing, guess what will happen to our riches? There's no more. Because they're going to be erased. See what I'm saying? It's like a credit card. There you go. It's like a credit card. And, on top, and when you max out, guess what? A punishment comes with that. Right? Give me that in the book. No, you give me that in the book. You hold something? Okay, come on. Give me the book of Revelation 2015. Let's find out what happens if we decide to just give up. Quit working for the Heavenly Father. Mind you, working for the Heavenly Father is the best job on planet Earth. Mm. Right. The best job. Mm. But go ahead and read. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15. Bring it no. up. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Was what? Was, was cast, cast into, into the, the lake, lake of fire. fire. Now, <laughs> if you have riches, you was building them up. Not only would you see them, but you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. See that? Hey, real quick, give me the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 49. We got a precept with a precept. We can't just read you one and leave it at that, bro. Come. Right? So he's, so he said, whoever was not found written in God's book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Go ahead and read. Book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 49. Bring it out. So shall it be at the end of the world. What time? At the end of the world. What time? At the end of the world. We're living in the end of the world, by the way, but go ahead and read. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. So the angels won't come down to separate the righteous from the wicked. Go ahead. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. And shall do what? Cast them into a furnace of fire. Whoever was not written in the land's book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Who's going to cast people in the lake of fire? Read it again for me, Ark. Book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 49. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. Who gonna cast the angels? The angels. The angels. the angels. Right? Thinking that we up there. Oh Lord, but you know, I was gonna get you. Ah! And they're going to the lake of fire. You think the Lord gonna plead with them? Having people plead their cause? <laughs> you know how long that's gonna be? We gotta wait for one person to talk out this. No, the Lord don't plead like that. Right. Either you're doing the Father's will and you will be beamed up in the chariot. Right. And if you're not, that's what he said, you're gonna separate men. Right. Because right. you're gonna beam them up. And the chariots, which is the UFOs, as you seen earlier. You understand? Know Those are the chariots. That's what you see. You saw one with your own two eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's coming to deliver us, brother. That's what's keeping tabs on this earth the whole time. Even when Christ was here, that, that light, that you that the chariot was showing them where to go, leading so, the way. So the UFOs are not, it's not, it's not aliens? It's no, ain't no such thing as aliens. Ain't no such thing as different planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, That's, that's what I was asking. Well, ain't no such thing. I, I mean, come on, man. This is how they, this is how deep their deception go. They made us believe that there's other planets out here, and we have the visitors come in. Those are not the angels of God. They visitors. They Martians. They little green men with big eyes. They played the whole thing. They had the Roswell incident. Man. You know what I'm saying? Wow, well, our saucer came down. The UFOs came crack. Chariots of the Most High God came. They perfect. You know what? That, that Independence Day, that new one, 2016, that shows how our Lord is going to return. You see all that destruction? Yeah. When the mother's entered in, scraped yeah. the moon up, yeah. he coming with fire in his clouds like a like oh, the whirlwind. Oh, so when you really watch that movie in, in the spiritual, you'll see they, they literally got that movie from our Bible. The oh. alien they call she, it's not a she, it's a he. Our Lord. See what I'm saying? The children that's in captivity, the aliens that was in captivity, that was locked up, and they was cheering all of a sudden, they was riled up. They was cheering because they knew they felt the Lord. They bought the Lord about to redeem them. So they put a lot in that movie, but we just watch it as just that, a movie. No, it's more than that. It's a lot of subliminal messages in these movies. Planet of the Apes. That's right, the Planet of the Apes. That's another one. Uh, see that? They put a lot of things in, in our face, but we don't pick up on the why because we too docile. We too dumbed down. Yeah, it's entertainment. Right, it's entertainment, and we don't want to know the truth. I ain't seen no Israelites stop here yet and listen. Say that again, King? I ain't seen no Israelites stop here and listen yeah. yet. Why? Because you are called, many are called, but for our chosen. 
You see that? And we understand that. But you stop. You've been here. King's been here. Wow. Uh, in the book of Romans, chapter 7, 6 and 16, I believe. 8 and 16. Romans 8 16. Let's find out why y'all still here. Right? Let's find out why you yeah, still here. Really you see that? <laughs> you, 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 you got work? See that? He said, I should be in the bed. He can see. Hey, give me the book of John 10, 27. Go ahead and read that. Book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it out. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So yes, our spirit bear wicked with our spirit. Go ahead. Which that is we the spirit are. of God. That's why, by the way, it's the spirit of God. That's why you stop. That's why he's listening. Because y'all got the spirit of God upon y'all. Go ahead. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. That we are the children of God. That we are? That, that we, we are, are the, the children, children of God. God. That we are the children of God. Now let's find out why he said that. So go ahead and read. John chapter 10 and verse 27. Bring it out. My sheep hear my voice. What did God say? My, my sheep hear my, my voice. And I know them. What did he say? And I, I know them. them. And they do what? And they follow me. So when the words is coming out, he said my sheep hear my voice. You know you guys to get some rest to go to work. You're going to be late. But you can't leave because you're getting fed from the Lord. Yeah, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You never heard this before. Now you're learning something. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm taking notes. We know. You, yeah, you've been taking notes. You know what I'm saying? Well, hold on. With that scripture, getting his phone out, got to put it in there. And, you know what I'm saying? Still listen. Yes, because my sheep bear my voice. He say, I know them and they follow me. Right. That's why you're out here. The, the king just said, then that one is like, stop. Because God's Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Right. So a real sheep, a real believer of God, when these words is coming out, they're not going to just walk past. See what I'm saying? And if they are in a hurry, they just hear one step. See what I'm saying? They keep it moving, but they're not just going to just walk past the word of God. No, because they this is what feeds us. And give me the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, real quick for me, y'all. There you go. It's food. Mm. It's food for our spirit. Mm. A lot of our people is not eating. They walking dead out here. They zombies. They malnourished. You see what I'm saying? They malnourished. I don't like that. They malnourished. Go ahead and read that out. Book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word. But that, by what? But by, by every word. word. But by what? But, but by, by every word. word that what? That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that come out of this book. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because the Lord come in the volume right. of um, the book. Uh, right? You know the book of Hebrews. What is that? Uh... Hebrews 7 and 10, right? Hebrews 10, 7, sloppy. Hebrews 10, verse 7. Let's see what this says. Book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 7. Bring it out. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. What the Lord say? I, I come, come in the, in the volume, volume of the book. book. So the Lord come in the volume of the book. That's why we got all these pages to learn about him from. And the righteous things. Go ahead. It is written of me. It is written of who? It, it is, is written, written of me. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, the Bible is written about our Lord. He come in the volume of the book. But go ahead and read. To do thy will, to, O God. To do what? To, to do, do thy, thy will, will, O God. Christ came to do his Father's will. Hey, real quick, give me the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 16. So Christ came to do the Father's will. Yeah. Go ahead and read that, huh? Book of John, chapter 7, verse 16. Bring it out. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine. Hold on, what did he say? My, my doctrine, doctrine is, is not mine. mine. Hey, Christ said, My doctrine is not mine. Go ahead. But his that sent me. But whose? But, but his, his that, that sent me. But the Father that sent him. Right, right, right. See that? Hey, real quick, in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. Let's get the, let's set the things in order. Let's get some order to see how things are. So go ahead and read. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. We in charge of the woman. No men should be letting a woman rule over them. Even though we got a lot of simps, and that's what's happening these last days. But 
No king should be letting a woman rule over them. Read again from the top of me, y'all. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. The head of who? And the, the head, head of Christ, Christ is God. God. Who? And the, the head, head of Christ, Christ is God. God. The head of Christ is God. There you go. That's it. It's, it's the most high God is Christ, man, woman, and child. Right? That's the, that's the order. That's right. But this world taught us how to be out of order. Yeah. That's why they set the men, I mean the woman up over the man. Right. You see that? That's right. That's right in Babylon. That's right. The city of confusion. Right. Right? Multiple nations, man. This is confusion here, man. Right? That's why a lot of people That's why. They don't know which way to go. They're looking for hope, but they have not found the truth. But let's find out who found the truth. In the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 11, Hebrew. Let's find out who found the truth. A hey, unit book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 19, I believe. Who would you got? Romans 7 11. Book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 11. Bring it up. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment. Slock it, that's not what I want. Slock it. Romans 11 and 7. My fault. Romans 11 and 7. I get a little mixed up every now and then. Go ahead and read that. Book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained. That which he seeketh for? Why? Because Israel are looking for the truth. That's why we fill up the churches. All these different denominations, we searching for our God. Why? Because we got a zeal of God, but it's not according to knowledge. When we living without the law, when the pastor and the law is done away with, that we, that's not of God. There you go. Men, we already read that. Our people love to praise the men more than to praise the God. Right? So, read that one more time for me, y'all. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh, for but for, Salakia, for but the election have obtained it. But the who? The election have obtained it. Now, Israel have not found that which he searches for, but the elect of God have found it. They obtained it. They found the truth. They didn't go and find Christianity, or they may have been in it and they came out of it. They may have found Islam, they found that, see it was wicked, they came out of it and found the truth. Right. All these different denominations is yeah, of yeah, man. That's what happened with me. See that? I was in, I was in, I was in a Christian church, and it was in a church that I came out of it, and then, you know, I kind of did my wickedness a little bit, and now, now I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to find out about this. The truth. That's true. That's what I was asking him earlier, I'm from Benjamin, so. I want to know a little bit more about that. Right, and I, and I heard the mighty king breaking it down for me. You know what I mean? So yeah, you were from the tribe of Benjamin, king, right? So Benjamin is the wolf, and I heard him telling you, explaining that. You know what I'm saying? That's your logo. So hold on, young king. Now we, I'm from the tribe of Judah. Our symbol is the lion. You know what I'm saying? So every tribe got their symbol that God gave us. That's why we got 12 stones. So we all supposed to work together, right? Yeah. That's right. We coming together this day. Uh, Only the elect. Right. The one third is coming together. Okay. See what I'm saying? It's not everybody can see. Hey sister. Hey sister. They only want they know we have some food. All of them gonna say, you wanna hear the word? They don't wanna hear the word. You see that? But we know because God said his sheep hear his voice. This brother comes around all the time. His sheep hear his voice, bro. They, his sheep, the sheep go feed to the Lord. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They come around and get fed. You got, you got the regulars that come in. You got the um, people that we call out and try to fish to come over to get this good news. You know what I'm saying? That's spiritual thanksgiving. That's that spiritual thanksgiving. But this is going to go into the people who not found the truth. See, the elect has found the truth. But most of our people that's caught up in different denominations, the religions, and all that, let's see what he said about them. But God said, chapter 29 and verse 19, Bring it out. the meek also shall... Isaiah 29 and verse 9. But God said, chapter 29 and verse 9, and it reads, Stay yourselves and wonder and cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. Our people are drunken, 
but not with wine. They drunk it off of the philosophies of religion. These are different denominations, right? Go ahead and read. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Our people are staggering around, but not with strong drink. Because what happens when you drunk? You stagger. So our people are staggering into Seven Day Adventists. Staggering into Islam. Staggering into Baptist. Staggering into Apostolic. You see what I'm saying? But the elect have found the truth. Say that again? I'm out of order. I'm, I'm, I'm out of order now. I have no fringes on. Uh, he, he shaved. shaved. My beard is shaved. Oh, you got to get it back together. You already know. Yeah, you already know. All right. We're going to get to the top. And let's get that. The book of Leviticus 19.27. Let's find out. Leviticus 19.27. Right, but finish that one more time. He just shake you from the top. I said, to the 29 of no, us no, nine. Bring it out. We out here for you. When questions come, bring them up. Otherwise, you're going to forget. No, it ain't, it ain't being a rule. It's about getting understanding. Yeah. You eat, it's a week. Hmm. You, know what I'm you, you I like, let me get them yams right there. Then we bring it out the yams. You're like, oh, let me get them greens. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. That's what's happening. But we want you to eat. I we understand. You good? Go ahead and read. Isaiah to the 29 and verse 9. Bring it out. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. The spirit of what? The spirit, the spirit of, of deep, deep sleep. The what? The spirit of deep sleep. That spirit of deep sleep, meaning they won't find the truth. Why? Two-thirds of our people got to be destroyed. Right. That's why we, we that's in the know, got to be grateful and thankful we are in the know. That's right. Because we have not caused that's all the Lord, Israelites, uh -huh. brother. He destroying two-thirds of us. Uh -huh. You know the book of Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 13. Go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 13, 27. Yea, shall not round the quarters of your head. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Now, the Lord said we cannot have a bald head, right? Can't have a shaved beard. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't know that was in there. But guess what? Leviticus 19.27. And you know now. There's a lot of things our people don't know until we come into the know. And when we come into the know, that's right, 1927. So when we come into the truth, now we change. Now we got once you hear what you got to do. Now you got to do them. You can't just sit back and be ignorant now. Now we got to apply. That's right. Read that one more time for me, y'all. Book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Yea, shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar the corners of your beard. Yea, shall not make any cuttings in your flesh That's going for the dead. Right. Nor print any markings upon you. Now, if you have any tattoos, you have did this, that's because obviously you didn't know. But once you come into the know, now you can't get no more. That's right. Now, imagine if I go and get a tattoo. The Lord has sent an evil angel down my way real quick. I won't even have time to, to get my life to credit together. I won't even have enough time to think that the Lord is doing it to me. Because when the evil angel is sent, the evil angel only here to stir up your life That's in right. a bad way. 